is what it is. So as you already seen uh, a beer from Collective Arts Brewing, they're out of Ontario in Canada. Had a yeah, fair few beers from these guys. Um, so this is Jam Up The Mash, not Mash Up The Jam, I think they've changed their name uh, for this beer at some point. So this is a dry hop sour, it's coming in at 5.2% ABV and it's brewed with Nelson Solvin hops from New Zealand and blue citra from the Pacific Northwest. Uh, just says, oh, this was Vic's secret. Okay, so this must be a different uh, version then to what I've just read. Uh, so Vic Secret, Citra and Mosaic. So forget what I just said. Um, unfiltered. Hoppy Sour. Is it a Hoppy IPA? Uh, I don't know, we'll see. But it's a size can is this. It's a standard for, the, for Canada and the States. A 473 ml can. So a little bit more than... Uh, what we get the 440s over here in the UK or the 500s. So this is sort of a bit in between that. This I've had for quite a while sitting in the fridge here in London. Um, I actually gave it to my sister in law, but she didn't want it in the end. So, okay. So it's been around in the fridge since August. So the um, London Craft Beer Festival has been around since. This is my free beer for having the uh, all in ticket. So, should be okay down the south. Maybe the hops may have gone off a little bit. We'll wait and see. Hello, some people watching. So, yeah, hope you have a good New Year's Eve. Just going to do a tap. As always. The clean glass is following me everywhere. Hello, Vanessa. How you doing, girl? Good to see you. So, yeah, it's a uh, hazy, kind of a almost. Uh, lemony straw in colour. Didn't pour much of a white head, maybe a, a finger and a well, just half a finger or something like that. It's gone down now just covering the top of the, the beer. So maybe the hops have fallen off a little bit. Yeah we'll have to wait and see hopefully. Um, as I say I've had this since August. Um, so we'll have to hopefully it's still okay. And cheers Thomas. Um, hope you're having a nice evening son. And it's a very kind of lemon sherbet -y. Cheers, Thomas. So we've got Thomas and Vanessa saying hi. It's good. Yes, we've got a really kind of almost um, lemon drop, that, you know, that kind of menthol sweet kind of note there. Cheers, Sam, man. Happy New Year to you. Where are you at? Not quite hit us yet. So. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it's completely different from what we're feeling now. Anyway, what am I getting? Lemon drop then, if you like. There is a slight, slight edge of a um, kind of a sherbet aroma. Hops wise, mm, yeah, lemon, lemongrass maybe. too much in it, let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh, well, this is something different. I had half a bottle of wine earlier. Um, well, half a bottle, two large glasses. Yeah, I'm just um, seeing where I am now. I mean, this is quite old. I think there's an old can, you know. I think it's an old can. Even though I got it in August, I think it's still pretty old then. They probably just want to get rid of them. A little bit herbaceous. Definitely getting a kind of a nice, freshly squeezed uh, lemon juice.
little bit of tar, a little bit of bite to it, but within the sour kind of spectrum, if you like, quite low key. This is just a contrast from the palette. It's given it. I mean, by the time I've got through half of this can, it's probably going to fade. It's going to be one of them where your palette adjusts and it just drops. It's nice to have a sour actually, I forgot this was in the fridge. So I've only had like OPAs and pails and sour and um, sours here and um, stouts. And apart from that I've been drinking like a bit of Bailey's wine. That's about it. So, so I'll be doing one or two more reviews, I would imagine, this evening. Why not? Quite floral, not particularly dry. Got a slight kind of citra element to it, but as I say, it's not overly sour. Quite pleasant, a little bit herbaceous, it could put some people off. Yeah. It's drinkable, even though it's a proper old can by the looks of it. Um, I don't know if I've had, because I know they changed the name. I'm pretty sure they changed it. This is now mash up the, sorry, jam up the mash. And I think this was uh, mash up the jam. <coughs> Bit of carbonation there. Um, so I don't know if I had the other version of this or not. I think I have, but whatever. See no hint of ABV on this thing. Anyone else having a drink at the moment? Sam, you're, you're probably uh, not me a day. Are you recovering or you're on overtime or whatever? I'm probably going to go back on Monday. Monday lunchtime. I was going to go Sunday. But I want to watch... Um, if it goes ahead, I want to watch. I can't remember, is it, is it Liverpool Chelsea? So, I want to watch that. I don't really want to be stuck on a train for that time. So. I'll go, it could be busy as well on that Sunday. People are travelling back after the, the, uh, the break. Um, how you doing, Jack Man, mate? On Verdant, people, money, space, time at the minute. Oh, nice. I've heard that's pretty good. I haven't had a Verdon beer for a little while, to be honest. Um, I'm trying to go to breweries that I generally have not had before, or anything from them. Getting ready to mow the lawn. It's, uh, it's more in here, yeah, but I had a few last night. Nice one, yeah. Um, it could be this, I don't know. It could be, well... I'm getting a hissing noise, but I've got a blocked ear. I've had a blocked ear for four days. I'm not getting a hissing. It could be music next in the bedroom next door or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not too bad, Jack man. Man, just uh, just chilling. As I say, it's quite a, a low-key sour. I mean, I don't. I've got plenty of sours at home. Need drinking. I never get round to them, even in the summer months. I've got one or two sours there that are really old, and I'm going to do a, a, a live stream of some out-of-date beers, the older out-of-date beers, not the newer ones. But I've got lots of out-of-date beers. Um, I don't know if this is out of date or not, to be honest. It probably is. It's not particularly hoppy. But, it's um, it just tastes like a normal sour to me. Heading down to Melbourne for ales tomorrow. Okay, nice. New brew pub by highly respected 
local. Okay, cool. I'll have to check it out on Instagram if you post anything. Had a bad sale. Uh, had a sale. Ain't had a sale in a while. Yeah, just. I mean, it's not particularly what people class as the time of year for them, but I drink stouts in the summer, so it's. And this is just the other way around, really, if you look at it like that. Fairly easy drinking, though. Good evening, Craig. How are you doing, brother? Hope you're keeping well. Hope you're on a good evening. So, yeah, first in a few reviews. Um, this is a bonus beer. As I was saying, I've had this since August. I just left it in the fridge. It was one of the freebies I got at the uh, London Craft Beer Festival in August. So, it's been knocking around the fridge for a while. Um, I gave it to my sister in law to, to, to try. She never cracked it, so it's got to be drunk. So, um, you like an easy drinking ones, isn't it? Yeah, I know what you mean, man. I'm definitely more into my pales, pale ales, like sort of, you know, four and a half to five and a half to up to six percent. I'm, I'm really digging them. I have been for a while, to be honest. Oh mate, it's a bit cold mate. Good evening Chris, uh, Chris, Steve, how you doing mate? Hope you're having a, a reasonably nice evening and you're not in too much uh, discomfort and all that, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, obviously not going out, being in London, unless I want to get ill. But yeah, I've actually got a bit of a cough at the moment and stuff, but it's not that. It's just one of these little chest infections I, I get every now and again. Doing the old uh, tests and, and, and the like. Um, I've only got one of these left. One of these things left in here, so. But I've got another box with me. I've just ordered one for home, so. I managed to get an order of one in the other day. I kept trying and. I don't think, yeah, it's pretty, you can probably go out and you can probably have a good time, you know, not see anyone and you could have gone out. It's like, oh, it's dead, there's no one in here. It's like, oh, you could have come down and all that shit. Whatever. Yeah, it's rife in London, so, I'm, you know, I'm, I could have gone out. I think uh, Rasko was saying, I'll oh, come out and right there. There'll be other times. I so I'm, I'm in London every two or three weeks anyway, so it's not... It's not the end of the world for me. So it'd be different if uh, if I was sales going up to Leeds for for Christmas and stuff. I'll be like, yeah, I will go out. I don't get to go to Leeds that often, but London, I'm, I say I'm here certainly once a month. Back to this then. A very easy drinking sour, nothing too crazy. You get that first initial few mouthfuls. The same, same hard to jack there. Um, you know that first few mouthfuls, like any sour, it takes your your palate a few a few drink, you know, a few uh, mouthfuls to get round it. But apart from that, I missed the comment then. Sorry. Um, people saying like to each other, which is really good. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's it's just a very easy drinking sour. Um, not much else to say about it really, a bit of lemony, a little bit of sherbet in there, and a little bit of bite, which is what you want. Um, and overall pretty good, probably go well with like um, a pancake with uh, or, um, lemon juice and sugar, that kind of, you know, if you're going to pair up something like this, it would be something like that on pancake day, I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and drink this off camera. Um, I'll be back in, in, a, in a little while to do another review. I've got about three or four pails in there to to, to go through. Um, I've got one stout down there, so uh, yeah. So just just keep an eye on on the on the old uh, things or if you've got your notifications on. If it works, I don't know if that thing works or not. But um, but yeah, hopefully we'll uh, join up again in a little while. So. Uh, have yourself a good evening if you don't, and Happy New Year and all that jazz. And um, I'll see you in the next review in probably about 20 minutes, half hour. So. Take care, have a good night, I'll speak to you soon.